Hey guys, and welcome back to Silent Hill. When we last left off, we um, made it through the church. The second church, I should say. Uh, met up with Sybil, had a bit of a chat, and decided that the next course of action would be to go back to the hospital and see if we can find a way through. Unfortunately, everything's gone a little bit uh, crazy uh, in Silent Hill. But that's okay. It's been about, um, well, probably nearly two weeks since I've played this game. Uh, but that's fine. I know where I'm going. He says, with utmost confidence, we need to take a little bit of a detour. Now, unfortunately, because we are in the hellscape, ooh, God, which is the alternate version of Silent Hill, things are getting a little bit more delicate outside. But that's fine. That's okay. We're equipped to handle these things. Anywho, let's take a bit of a detour through here and see what we can find. Well, that's ominous. Satan TV. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not what you're hoping it to be there, Harry. Um, yeah, let's let's just quickly move on. I don't think uh, Cheryl's really on TV. Now, it looks like our little scanimatron is going a little bit crazy. And there's some weird funk just up ahead of us. But we're going to take a detour. We're going to take a detour through the jewellery shop. Or at least into the jewellery shop. For some reason, unbeknown to us, there are some rifle shells, two packets of them, but we don't have a rifle. Hmm. Don't worry, we haven't missed it. There's also a medikit in here, or a health kit. A first aid kit, there we go. Uh, there's also somewhere to save the game if you would so desire to do so. But we're not gonna worry about that too much. Anyway, what we are going to do is switch over to old painless. Yes. And march towards these things. But wait. Ha! Bamboozled. Indeed, bamboozled. You right there, lad? Oh, hello. Fancy meeting you here. We have our second boss of the game. Curious. Now, he ain't much to write home about, I'm going to be honest. We're just going to kind of stand still. And as soon as we hear him make some noise, he actually spits acid at us. Which ain't great. Six shotgun shells. Sorts his problem out. For now. Yeah, you better run. Slimy little turd. All right. Well, at least he's opened a little uh, exit for us. Now, before we leave, we do want to pick up the rifle. You can use the rifle to defeat him. Uh, to be honest, like the power difference between the rifle and the shotgun isn't that big. It it's there, but it isn't huge. And uh, another good thing with the uh, shotgun. Is it fires a lot faster as well? So, you know, considering it's a pretty close engagement, we might as well let him have it with old painless. Anyway, let's get out of here, shall we? Now you'll notice, unfortunately, we didn't kill the bastard. He actually ran away. Now, I've got a feeling we'll be seeing him a little bit later on. Anyway, we need to keep making way back to the hospital and see if we can shake some answers out of Lisa, who hopefully is still there where we left her. Be a little bit awkward if she isn't. Now, this place has literally become flavor country. We are going to take a little detour into the police station. Uh, and it is absolutely not worth fighting any of these guys. 
you just you're gonna have a bad time essentially have we gone past have we overshot no nope, we haven't quite got to the police station yet now, I don't know who the architect for this place was, but I think it's safe to say he's done a bit of a bad job. Or they have done a bit of a bad job. It's certainly a little bit uh, iffy out there. Pretty sure health and safety would have a field day with that place. So, we're going to pick up some more rifle rounds. Because, yum yum. And there's some nice little handgun rounds here. Uh, this is technically a save room as well because the notepad is there uh, we can no longer go through this door unfortunately but you know let's keep marching forwards always forwards forever forwards whoa yeah if we stop and fight these guys we're probably just gonna take way too much damage and um, you know we've got a lot of health but it's just not worth the time Maybe if we had, uh, oh, I don't know, some fancy alien blaster, things might be different. But we don't have some kind of fancy alien blaster, so we're not going to worry about that too much. There's some more worm heads out here, but again, pay them no heed. Because trust me, they are more trouble than they are worth. Anyway, now we left Lisa in here. Glad you're okay. Thank God you came back. I was scared to be here all alone. I'm here now. I was worried too. Uh-huh. I'm real happy to see you. Lisa, can you tell me how to get to the lake? The lake? You take Bachman Road. <laughs> the road's blocked. Well, that's the only way out there. Are you sure? There's got to be another way. Wait! I just remembered something! <gasps> what? There's a waterworks over by my old elementary school. It's been abandoned for years. There's an underground tunnel out there used for inspections or something. I remember hearing it runs all the way to the lake. Huh. Really? You think I can get to the lake from there? I've never been down in there myself, so I'm not positive. Besides, it's all fenced off to keep people out. If there's a chance, I've got to try. Harry, don't go! I don't want to be alone. It's so scary, I can't stand it. How about coming with me? This may not be the safest place in the world, either. I can't promise you anything, but I'll do my best to protect you. No. Somehow I feel I'm not supposed to leave this place. Oh, Harry. I'm so scared. I'm cold. Look, just wait here a little longer. I'll be back as soon as I find my daughter. Harry? Oh, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we've got to leave her behind. Uh, she doesn't feel like she can leave the hospital when she's telling us that she feels cold. Now, um, from what I can understand, the actual theory behind her character is she's actually dead. And she obviously doesn't know that she's dead. Um, but she's haunting the hospital, and she cannot actually leave. Uh, hers is a pretty, pretty sad story, unfortunately. But, you know, no time for tears. We've got a job to do. And unfortunately, our job is right ahead of us. I don't know what happened to the worm heads out here. They seem to have disappeared. So, as you can see, completely waste of time fighting them. But luckily, a new way has appeared. Armed with our new knowledge, we can get out of here.
and hopefully get back to old Silent Hill. Well, you didn't think that uh, little insect bug thing that scampered off was gone, did you? Oh no, he has mutated to a f giant f floating nutsack. Now, he's not that dangerous. However, he does take a crazy, crazy amount of shots here. I think he takes like up, like nearly 20. We can head up those um, stairs in front of us there and fight him around a water tower, but I don't really see the point. He's got two attacks here. He's gonna spit acid at us and then he's gonna try and jab us with his stinger. Um, the stinger jab is a little bit janky to avoid, but the acid is pretty audible. And my base tactic here really is to wait for him to spit acid at us and then hit him a couple of times with the shotgun um, whilst backing off. As you can see, sometimes he'll hit you with the stinger and sometimes he won't. There are tactics that you can use to improve your chances. But to be honest, you know, we've got so much health. It's just more efficient to just run around in circles. And if he hits us, he hits us. Really doesn't do that much damage. He should just about be finished anyway, to be honest. There we go. Yep, again, nothing to write home about. Now, as we've killed the boss, of course, the sirens play and the chaos subsides. We find ourselves once again back in the familiar, more calm Silent Hill. So, we've taken him out. Now, remember what Lisa said. We need to head. <sighs> really, Harry? Really? We need to head back to the elementary school. At least to the rough location anyway. So, let's start going. We need to go back through the gate or the bridge that originally led us here. And I think we're possibly going the wrong way. We are, because of course we are. So, let's double around. Back. And also, I suppose we probably, yeah, we did take a somewhat decent amount of damage there. Um, you can use the rifle against him, I guess. But again, it's just, it's so much slower than the shotgun. And, you know, I've experimented with using the rifle on him and the um, shotgun. There is a small difference, like, I think... I think it takes about 20 shots-ish with the shotgun to kill him, something like that. And it takes, like, 15 with the rifle. So, you know, either or, really, I suppose. Um, now, with the larval form as well in the shopping mall, I did try originally to take him out with a knife, uh, with a melee weapon. Yeah, I did try the knife. I tried the steel pipes just, just to see if it could be done because he's such a, like, easy boss... Uh, and he doesn't actually soak up that much damage. But after trying for a considerable amount of time, uh, I'm pretty convinced you cannot hit him with the knife because Harry just will not aim at him. Uh, you can, with extreme difficulty, you can hit him with the steel pipe. Um, I don't think you can hit him with the axe. I tried. I just... I was right up in his face, swinging away at him. It just it doesn't like the um, like the act, uh, the knife. It just swings above his model again with the emergency hammer. I hit him once after trying for way too long. Uh, it's just not worth it. So I I think the shotgun blast to the face is the way to go with him. And yeah, even in um, flying moth form, uh, I yeah I just think the shotgun's the way to go. Now, that may change a little bit later on. And, uh, you know, to be fair, you absolutely can do it with a rifle. And you could probably do it with a handgun. Um, but I'm, I would assume it just takes significantly longer with the handgun. Um, but, you know, I don't know, though. That's one thing. I didn't experiment with that, actually. Because the handgun is a pretty good weapon. You know, it's not as powerful as a shotgun, sure. But it, it's not that different, you know? Anywho back to Silent Hill with our 
Sorry, ass. And we're going to be heading back to one of my, I don't know if it's my least favorite area of the game, it might be. We're gonna go and head to the sewers, uh, which is, from what I can remember, an area that I had, um, this must be the waterworks that Lisa was talking about. Yeah, I don't know why we just like straight up teleport here. It's kind of, kind of odd. Um, but yeah, I, I did have considerable issues with this first time round, but at least I think I did. I did kind of watch some of my original LP of this game, and oof. yeah, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's, some, it's, it's something. Anyway, it's locked. Oh my. Hmm, the lock is worn out. I may be able to break it if I hit it hard. Well, Harry. It just so happens that we have a rather large selection of heavy implements. Let's just take this axe out for a try. So that actually takes five hits with the axe to destroy. Uh, and to give you some context, it only takes like three with that. So obviously that does way more damage um, than the axe. But the axe is faster. And you can't move whilst readying that, whereas I'm pretty sure you can still... Oh, help. You can still move around. One second, guys. My phone is going. All right. So, with that now dealt with, let's head in towards the sewers. All right. I think we're going to have to... Equip something a little bit lower caliber to get through here. And besides, it's nice to pull the pistol out now and again. That's what she said. Does that work? I mean, kind of, I guess. We'll go with it for now. Okay, back to the sewers. Now, we do love a good sewer level, don't we? Everybody collectively sighs. All right, let's get going. Now, behind us here is two little gribbly bastards. You gotta be careful with these because they will sneak up on you and do a considerable amount of damage if they get the chance, especially two of them. But there are much creepier things skulking around down here. There we go. These guys. I think these are called like hook creepers or something. Um, luckily, they do go down pretty quick. And they kind of look up at you longingly as, they, uh, as the life fades from them. Yes. Okay. Well, we're not going to worry about them too much. Um, no, these are called scratchers. Yeah, hanged scratchers. Kind of a, a bit of an odd name, if you ask me, but there we go. Anywho, if we come down here, we can find some rifle rounds, which somebody has uh, lovingly donated to the cause. Excellent. And there is a couple of boats there as well, which I assume they use for... Oh, hello. Hello, sweet cheeks. Come on, then. Let's be having you. Come on. Let your life essence bleed out all over the floor. It pleases me, you understand. So, we've got some more goodies down here. Some handgun ammo, some shotgun shells, and a health drink. You know, because um, last time I counted, we were running a little low on the health drinks, I believe. Uh, yeah, damn, down to 29, with 13 first aid kits and two ampules. Yep, <sighs> things are starting to get a little bit tense here. Oof, we're almost under 100 bullets as well, almost. Okay, let's continue our little escapade through the sewers. I think for now, we're just going to keep journeying this way. There's another door that way, um, just to the right of where we started, but 
alas, we lack the means to get through it. So we're going to come out through here. There are three doors down here, only one that we can use. But that's fine. We're about to find a key. A key to the kingdom of the sewers. Well, I don't know who's boss down here. I guess Harry is, because he's the one with the gun. But luckily, we can find ourselves a sewer map. And, dear viewers, a sewer key. There's also a save notepad thing here, and I'm considering, because I've got to answer a few messages now, considering taking advantage of it. So, I think I'm going to leave this video here, guys. It's only a short and sweet one, I think, but... Uh, when we come back, we're going to finish off the sewers. Now, the sewers aren't actually anywhere near as long as I thought they were. Uh, for some reason, I had it in my head that this was like a, a significant portion of the game. Um, you know, equal to somewhere like the first part of the Silent Hill um, town or, you know, even half of Midwich Elementary. But it isn't. It's really short. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.